welcome back. You're here for another video. That's awesome. Glad to see you. So my name is Gwen Betwee and here comes a practice question. Now this one is tied into the last two questions if you saw those videos. It is a slightly easier question in one respect and kind of confusing in another respect. So first part is on the confusing piece. I could modify the language here and make it really straightforward, but that's not your CISSP test. That is one of the challenges with today's tests. Okay, so this one does apply to CISSP, does apply to CCSP, doesn't apply to CISM. All right, so here's the question. When testing a product against the common criteria specification, ISO 15408, a product will usually receive an Evaluation Assurance Level, or EAL. It's true, it doesn't always get one. Of the following, which indicates the most amount of testing with passing results? And it's that with passing results that is a little confusing. Which indicates the most amount of testing, well, it's on a scale of EAL 1 to 7, 1 being the lowest, 7 being the highest. Pretty much everything you're going to see in CISSP, CCSP is that. 1 is always the lowest and it just climbs up from there. But here, the question is, with passing results, does that modify my answer in some way? Does that change what it is? is it passing results for a specific product? I don't have a specific product. What is this thing asking me? So what happened, I think, with today's CISSP test is this has been a topic of question for a long time in CISSP, very long time. You may not see a question that actually looks like this, but they're asking the same topic, same questions over and over year after year after year. And what they're looking for is new questions that you would not have seen in practice anywhere. There's not a single practice question unless you get really lucky and you find one. There's not a single practice question that you're gonna see in the test. IAC Square is very good about that. That's one of their strengths is they are very good at protecting their test. They know the questions are stolen. They watch the practice question sites out there like pass for sure. And if any questions show up in there, I'm sure they go into their database and remove those questions immediately. So if you ever did see questions someplace like that, they're not gonna be in the test. So what they're doing is asking a common question that they've been asking a long time and the wording is just a little bit different like this one a most amount of testing with passing results well if you pass the test that's the most amount of testing you can go all the way up to the top so the answer is seven so the main point here is actually the question the wording in the question might be a little weird don't let it throw you off your game if you know the topic, you know the topic. The most amount of testing here is seven. You can't go higher than that. It's not a six, not four. You can go up to seven. Kind of that easy. So in a way, this is an extremely easy question, like I said, but it's also confusing because it has these three extra words at the end with passing results. Like I said, I could clean up the question, but that doesn't really help you get ready for the test. If this helped, if you like this, give me a like, give me a follow, and I will see you in the next video. Stay safe.